Okay, y'all. Good morning. I'm gonna make sure that my other video upload. This one's gonna be like two, maybe three minutes if it makes it that long. I'm just showing the faultiness here and my signal lighting wiring. And it's giving me a lot of problems, but I've been troubleshooting and fixing this bike myself since I got it. Third bike. I said two. <laughs> Third bike. Uh, Kawasaki Ninja 650 EX650 2013. 2,900 original miles when I got it. So those are still demo dealership miles on this bike. For those of you who are bike enthusiasts, you know that. Giving better looks here. So I have some stuff going on with my wiring right now that is causing shortages from my signal lighting. Kind of sucks. Nobody wants to be out at night and their signals are going haywire. See, that one is working. The other one is working right now, but at times it does not. And that's where the problem comes in at. Last night was one of those times I'm out on the ride. Boom, guess what? Signals didn't work. I had to bring my ass back home. Didn't want to tangle with it. Late at night like that. So I did it. And I brought it home. And here I am first day this morning out here with you guys. Troubleshooting and getting ready to fix my issue. I don't need another um, fuse. That was my first order of business this morning. To get a fuse to go in there and to exchange that out. But I don't need another fuse here. Um, I just need to find a way to keep my bike functional. While on rides. And to make sure that this doesn't happen again, how I plan to do that, I don't know. If you guys can send me some suggestions here for future videos or future bikes, if you'd like to. This one I'll have figured out before I even read the comment section, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to give you guys a view with this camera here as well. For my edits, the more the merrier. Can't get it off. Not today. No. My camera, like me, haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> Okay, so here we go to the best of my ability to be able to record and get in here and show y'all if you can see it all in B and bow. That's what we're working with. Wires and cords. Lots of wires and cords that I've mostly put away myself. Found a way to hide and tuck neatly away myself. I have them to the point that I just really don't want to touch them. This is the brake lights here. Get it back in at some point. So I just don't have them damn problems to deal with. So nobody wants to deal with problems. I'm doing this to say and to make sure. And when I try this again. All right, that one's working. That one's working. Oh, shit. <laughs> These lights wasn't working for me this morning, y'all. And now they're working. So it's looking like the troubleshooting has troubleshooted itself. Let me see if I'm getting Okay, y'all, so I think I found a quick fix to this whole little issue. Problem, problem, issue. We're not giving y'all a totally fucked up view of it. Let me switch y'all out here. Get you right here. So y'all can see what I see. What I'm doing. Let's see. Yeah. See that it wasn't working. Now there we go. Alright, so the shortage here in the cords. I'm troubleshooting. I'm going to do some quick fix stuff right now. Just because I don't know exactly what I need. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with troubleshooting and not knowing exactly what I need and figuring the shit out as I go because that's what I do. And you guys can learn with me. Just like, share, subscribe, and drop some comments down below and something y'all would like to see in some up and coming videos as I do just about everything. <laughs> There's nothing I can't do. But I haven't done it yet. It's just that I haven't done it yet because I'm sure I can get to it and do it. That's what I do. Y'all see that? It shorts itself out, it comes back in. It shorts itself out, it comes back in. It's a hit and miss for me. It's not cool when I'm out here on this bike. I don't need no hit and miss with these signals. I need it to hit every single time so nobody hits me. You understand me? And that's just the way that shit works. So basically, with the little quick fix I just did, the cables are tied good. They want to be secure. That's a neighbor's bike. I've looked at that neighbor before. Pretty cool bike you guys may see on the upcoming videos. I'll let y'all know. But I'm gonna tuck this off for now. I don't have my scissors to cut it. I can always come back and cut this later. It's not gonna make or break my ride. It's not gonna take me down. Um, we'll just see what happens. I think I got a really, really good setup here now. With these signal lights. I'm gonna tell. This one's been giving me problems, y'all. Okay, there we go on that side. 
And then we go on that side. Now, yesterday, the issue was it didn't work last night. I didn't know what it was, and I didn't want to troubleshoot it. So I did, and I got home where it was safe. I wasn't outside anymore, even though I do have the underglow light kit. And this bike lights up like the northern lights at nighttime on the road. It's super raw. I love it. But it still is not a, a compensation for signal lights. People need to know your intention, and they need to know what direction you're going when you're going those directions so they don't run into you. Uh, we live in a contributory negligent state. So if it is any way near your fault, then that diminishes any lawsuit that you may have moving forward or any damage claims for your motorcycle or motorbike. So do remember that and keep that in mind. I am here in the state of Wisconsin, in the States, for those of you who don't know that. All right? Okay. So for liability purposes and for safety, first and foremost, I'm always just double checking. Again, you can't check this stuff too much. If you think you can check it too much, you don't need to be on motorcycles because you don't value your safety or your life. Just go jump off a fucking bridge right now. Um, don't take that literal. Just saying. So there we go. There we have it. I'm going to cut it off here. Like I said, I've zip tied everything down. I don't know what this means for the future of this bike and these lights, but I do know this is something I don't plan to let go. I'm going to go get at this and attack this and fix it the right way. So I'm no longer playing around and dinking around with my safety and these lights. It's a big problem and issue for me, although it seems to be resolved for now. But that's just for now but we'll take this up and deal with this on another day because it's not going to keep me from going out on this morning ride all right you guys bye so i have some stuff going on with my wiring right now that is causing shortages for my signal lighting kind of sucks nobody wants to be out at night and their signals are going haywire see that one is working the other one is working right now but at times it does not that's where the problem comes in at last night was one of those times i'm out on the ride boom guess what signals didn't work had to bring my eyes back home didn't want to tangle with it late at night like that so i didn't i brought it home and here i am first thing this morning out here with you guys troubleshooting and getting ready to fix my issue i don't need another um fuse that was my first order of business this morning to get a fuse to go in there and to exchange that out but i don't need another fuse here um i just need to find a way to keep my bike functional while on rides and to make sure that this doesn't happen again, how I plan to do that, I don't know. But you guys can send me some suggestions here for future videos or future bikes if you'd like to. This one I'll have figured out before I even read the comment section, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to give you guys a view with this camera here as well for my edits. The more the merrier. Can't get it off. Not today. No. My camera like me haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> Okay, so here we go to the best of my ability to be able to record and get in here and show y'all if you can see it all in B and bow. That's what we're working with. Wires and cords. Lots of wires and cords that I've mostly put away myself. Found a way to hide and tuck neatly away myself. I have them to the point that I just really don't want to touch them. This is the brake lights here. Get it back in at some point. So I just don't have them damn problems to deal with. So nobody wants to deal with problems. I'm doing this to stay and to make sure that when I try this again, all right, that one's working. That was working. Oh, <laughs> These lights wasn't working for me this morning, y'all. And now they're working. So it's looking like the troubleshooting has troubleshooted itself. Let me see if I'm getting views here on this other camera for y'all. I'm going to give you the same exact look that I got but with this different camera. In case the one I'm using to record with doesn't do such a good job, then boom, there we go. Once again, wiring, harnesses, um, signal light issue, problem, problem issue. Going in to fix it doesn't need another fuse, so it doesn't make any sense to go in there and change the fuse. My problem is going to be the major relay here um, with this wiring, the whole thing, and um, why it's not working. Why it chooses to hit and miss here at times. Um, as of this morning, it's working. I got it hooked up. They're going now. It wasn't so much last night again. Uh, if it didn't make it to that part of the So I have some stuff going on with my wiring right now that is causing shortages for my signal lighting. kind of sucks. Nobody wants to be out at night and their signals are going haywire. See, that one is working. The other one is working right now, but at times it does not. And that's where the problem comes in at. Last night was one of those times I'm out on the ride. Boom, guess what? Signals didn't work. 
had to bring my ass back home didn't want to tangle with it late at night like that so i didn't i brought it home and here i am first thing this morning out here with you guys troubleshooting and getting ready to fix my issue i don't need another um fuse that was my first order of business this morning to get a fuse to go in there and to exchange that out but i don't need another fuse here um i just need to find a way to keep my bike functional while on rides and to make sure that this doesn't happen again how i plan to do that i don't know but you guys can send me some suggestions here for future videos or future bikes if you'd like to this one i'll have figured out before i even read the comment section i'm pretty sure so i'm going to give you guys a view with this camera here as well for my edits the more the merrier can't get it off not today no my camera like me haven't had breakfast yet <laughs> Okay, so here we go to the best of my ability to be able to record and get in here and show y'all if you can see it all in B and bow. That's what we're working with. Wires and cords. Lots of wires and cords that I've mostly put away myself. Found a way to hide and tuck neatly away myself. I have them to the point that I just really don't want to touch them. This is the brake lights here. Let's get it back in at some point. So I just don't have them damn problems to deal with. Nobody wants to deal with problems. I'm doing this to stay and to make sure that when I try this again, all right, that one's working. That was working. It's bullshit. <laughs> These lights wasn't working for me this morning, y'all. And now they're working. So it's looking like the troubleshooting has troubleshooted itself. Let me see if I'm getting views here on this other camera for y'all. I'm going to give you the same exact look that I got but with this different camera. In case the one I'm using to record with doesn't do such a good job, then boom, there we go. Once again, wiring, harnesses, um, signal light issue, problem, problem issue. Going in to fix it doesn't need another fuse, so it doesn't make any sense to go in there and change the fuse. My problem is going to be the major relay here um, with this wiring, the whole thing, and um, why it's not working, why it chooses to hit and miss here at times. Um, as of this morning, it's working. I got it hooked up. They're going now. It wasn't so much last night again. Uh, if it didn't make it to that part of the ed edits, then I'm reiterating that. So where we got with this. Then also we're putting on a wireless charger. Um, on here this weekend as well as doing an oil change and we'll take care of the signal light issue even if I have to get the whole assembly and nip that in the bud because I have up and coming touring rides and trips to do on this bike and I will be alone for the most part so I don't want to be out there and run into a problem or have somebody hit me again from behind because my signal lights are not working although last time I got hit my signal lights were working it's just that somebody still ran into me and hit me from behind like I was a goddamn stop sign and they didn't see me so it is what it is all right, guys, like, share, subscribe. I will fill you in on the rest of this video as it comes. I will be referring back to this video in future videos so you guys can get, um, you know, a look at what's been going on and my challenges and struggles here with my bike journey and this particular Kawasaki Ninja 650cc, EX650. My baby. All right, thank you, guys. Bye.